Welcome back uh, to the second episode of the Real Duo podcast. I'm one of your hosts, uh, Wade Hickerson. And I'm Devin Koss. Welcome back to the most mediocre podcast ever made. On Hope the to, internet. Hope to continue the streak. The the mediocrity continues. Uh, so what have, have you watched anything this week, Devin? Uh, the only thing that I've seen that's new, per se, is Men in Black. And I know you've seen Jesse Jones. I thought, you, I thought you've watched this week. I have had a busy weekend. All right. You've been doing adult stuff. I have. I've had work and I've had social things to do. I've had a busy weekend. Okay. Yeah. I watched Jessica Jones season three. Uh, I watched Batman Returns Friday. Uh, I did. I, I remember you saying that. I remember that. And then um, I'm currently going through the Planet of the Apes TV show because I've had it for the longest time. I've just never watched it and I want to watch it. I just want to say, if Wade's sound is awful, it's his own fault. I'm just letting everybody know. It is my fault. I'm in my my basement, and it's big, and there's people walking up stairs and stuff. So it's I got to get like a mic mic. I I don't have like a mic mic right now. The weather is not cooperating with him. Uh, Yeah, it's raining like cats and dogs outside. Yeah. I just want to say, before we start, I have a little rant about the fucking movie theater. All right? Go ahead. When I, I went agree to go, with you. when I went to see Men in Black yesterday, yes, it was yesterday, there was this kid sitting next to me. He was like 16, and he would not shut up the entire – he talked the entire movie. <laughs> I'm not joking when I say he talked the entire Was movie. he talking to himself or was he talking no, to himself? he was talking to his buddy, but they were just saying shit that was happening in the movie. Oh man, look at that explosion. Boo. That happened when I saw John Wick 3. There was just some dude next to me by himself just like commenting on everything that was happening. I hated it. Like this he would turn to his friend and like, "Huh, that guy died." It's like, "Really? Really? I didn't <laughs> just see that on the screen." And yeah, that's really, that I really wanted to lean over to him and be like, "Dude, dude, shut the fuck up." All right. I'm done with your shit. Yeah, I the people don't I I hate I love going to the movie theater but at the same time I I hate it cuz nobody else there want like cares uh i was i was tempted to say it but then i was like maybe this person he's sitting next to is blind and he's just explaining what's happening why would a blind person go to the movie theater i don't know maybe he wanted maybe he's a huge men in black fan he just wants to experience sound he can hear it but he doesn't exactly know what's going on so maybe he's like daredevil maybe he just snaps his fingers and he can just see everything if he was daredevil i would want to meet that man i would but he was he would be the indian Daredevil because he was. Why does it matter of, about his race, Devin? Because Wait, Daredevil can only be white based on. No, Daredevil can be whatever he you wants. You can't make him black. Nope. You could. People you would be pissed. Take. People would be. You pissed. just help a Daredevil. Give it to me. I want it. That's he's too he's too big to be Daredevil. What do you mean he's too big? He's a monstrous dude. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's, he's not massive. That he's like six two. He's like my height. Yeah, he's literally I'm, he's big, but he's not I'm like talking about his build. Line. He is huge. He's I, not like Terry Crews or anything. When I think of Daredevil, I think of a skinny a, a jet, agility person. You know, you think of Ben Affleck. No, he's a fat schlub. I do not think he of ben was. Affleck. <laughs> he was the OG. Daredevil. I I know, and I suppress that from my memory that he did that. That movie wasn't that bad. At least not the director's cut. The director's the, cut is actually okay. People say that, and it's still shit. I don't care. What it's you okay. Think. If they cut out that one stupid scene of them in the park, it'd be great. I hate it, that scene so much. It's terrible. Have you seen Electra? That's terrible, too. No, but I haven't. It, I haven't bad. seen it. I've never seen it. Don't Electra. watch it. I've, I've seen been it. Told it's, it's the most bad. boring superhero movie I've ever seen. It's worse than X-Men Origins. It's terrible. I don't think that's true at all. It's true. Watch it. X-Men we'll Origins is terrible. Buy it. Watch it. On, I <laughs> we'll talk it. about it next week. We'll talk about it next week. Watch we'll talk it. about it next That will review Electra. <laughs> yeah. That, next <laughs> week. I might do that, actually, because I have I have two copies of it, actually. It could be your segment of shit film of the week that you watched. Ooh, I well, no. If we did that, if we made that like a segment, I just watched like Samurai Cop over and over again and talk about that. We could talk about that this week. I love Samurai That's, Cop. That is a shit movie. I haven't seen it in a while. After it doesn't matter. It. I know exactly what happens. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing happens. Samurai Cop, bad movie, but it's amazing. All right, you ready to get into this news? Or you got anything else to rant about? Oh, I'm done ranting. If All right, want. let's let's talk about this Avengers game trailer that released the day we made our podcast so we didn't get to day we shot the day of e3 yeah we didn't get to talk about it so we that was bad scheduling i guess but whatever 
whatever. Go ahead. It, it, mediocrity at its finest. What you What do you think about the trailer? Uh, it was very odd. I noticed a lot of voice actors that I recognize that didn't quite like fit the characters. Like Nolan North as Tony Stark is a bit weird because he he voiced Deadpool in a lot of games, including the Deadpool game. And so to me, his voice is just associated with Deadpool. And it was weird, like his his voice just didn't match up with how they designed Tony Stark. And I also don't like how like Cap looks or Thor looks. I think they look terrible. I think I think Thor looks like crap. He, Cap, he does. Cap, I'll I'm softening up on. He, uh, he looks look, awful. He doesn't look that bad. He looks like, he looks like chubby Ben Affleck in like he's got armor squad, on. That's like bomb squad chubby. armor. Yeah, that's <laughs> why because he looks dumb. I think he looks fine. It's a different design. I don't want it to be completely MCU. So no, it doesn't have to be the MCU. But make him look like fucking Captain America. It doesn't look like Captain America at all. I mean, it looks like based on the trailer. Spoilers, I guess, if you haven't seen it. But it looks like Cap dies in the game very early on, based on what I've seen. Did you even watch the trailer? I did watch the trailer. <laughs> there, it, was, it was a very basic trailer. There was a big explosion, and then it cut to a statue of Cap. I'm gonna guess that that's true. That I'm sucks. Gonna... I want to play as Captain America. But it said that you get to play as the five. The five they've shown. Hulk, Thor, Black Widow, Iron Man, and Cap. So I don't know if that it happens early on in the game or in the middle of the game or what. I don't I'm, know. I'm getting real tired of the like, oh, it's it's like the superheroes mess up and then it becomes like a hellscape in Manhattan. And then everyone like blames the superheroes. Like, can well, we this stop one... doing that? <laughs> can you just give me a game where I can fly around as a superhero and destroy stuff? That's all I want. I don't need a story. I don't need it. Just put me in New York as Iron Man. Make me Moon Knight, for God's sakes. Make me like Howard the Duck. Just put me in a, in a city and make me do stuff. I don't care. I mean, they did put Moon Knight in uh, Web of Shadows. But you didn't get to play as him. But he was in it. He was in it. I t- completely forgot. I haven't thought about Web of Shadows in like a decade. It's one of the best Spider-Man games ever made. It is. It's not the best, but it's one of the best. I'd say it's probably the best. Story-wise, it's the best. Oh, okay. I'll give you that. Gameplay, I'd still I'd go with the PS4 one. Gameplay-wise. Yeah, gameplay-wise, yeah. It's just so easy to master. It's fun. I still go back and play it every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> um, this they did say this game takes place in San Francisco, so that's new. San Francisco. Yeah, but people are Not thinking Manhattan? that Manhattan. That's weird. No, but people are thinking that this is how it connects to the Spider-Man game because. I don't know if you noticed, but in the Spider-Man game, there's a line where he says the Avengers are on the West Coast. So people are like, uh, maybe this he is the that. Avengers. That well, I, it would universe. make sense if this was in the same universe because Marvel said they wanted to do shared universe games. It'd be weird if the first like Avengers game isn't connected to Spider-Man. That'd be a little weird. I don't know if they'll reference Spider-Man in that game or what. We'll see, I guess. And just give me like a subtle name drop. Just like, hey, Spider Man. What, what if they kept him a secret and he's actually in the game? That would be awesome as well. Let me play a Spider Man again. But like, so are these. I don't know if this takes place before the Spider Man game because I know the Spider Man ta- game takes place when he's like older. I don't know if Spider Man's a kid. I mean, it could be during. Game. I don't know. I don't know. It could be set like at the same time or around the same time. How do you, how do you feel about the graphics? I mean, or- it looks it looks good. It, it, I don't think the graphics are finished. It, it'll probably, by the time we eventually see it, it'll probably look a little better. Um, I did notice in the trailer, though, there were some small bits that look like gameplay. Just like yeah. tiny bits, like Hulk like running on the bridge and stuff. Yeah. And I wish I wish the whole trailer was kind of just gameplay, because I want to know like what this game is. The trailer did a poor job of illustrating what exactly this game is. I... I was let down by the trailer. Like I said, every I time down. I every time I see information about this game, I get let down more and more by it. Cause it's been two years. They released the teaser yeah, trailer two years ago. Yeah. And this is this is the big trailer they came out with. And it was very it was a, little, a little bit of a dud. It wasn't even two minutes. I think it was a minute and fifty seconds or something like that. Was it really? Yeah. It it for two years, that's all you give us. I'm just saying. Oh, oh one God. minute trailer. Hopefully we'll get more soon because I want to know more about this game. And they said they came out and they said they're not redesigning any of the characters. They officially said they're not doing it. I mean, that's fine. I think we'll definitely get like alternate skins and stuff, hopefully, because I don't want to be running around looking like broke ass Captain America. But they also said there's no micro microtransactions and it right. is multiplayer. That's the information. Is it 
like an MMO thing, like originally it was reported to be, or is it like single uh, player and then people just like come in? They didn't say, they just said multiplayer. They didn't spe specify mm. which one it is. Probably because it is MMO and they don't want to give people shit I about hope it. it's not. I, I hope, I it's, hope not it's just either. like a single player. Like, let me just fuck around in San Francisco or wherever it is. That, I hope it's just like, like the Assassin's Creed Unity game where you can do multiplayer, yeah. but, the, but you can do single player as well. Like, that's what I hope. Well, that, most uh, multiplayer games. But like, Unity... It was basically the same game. It's just you just jumped in with well, that's somebody true, else. Yeah. Like that's true. Like the other Assassin's Creed games, they just they're completely different games. The multiplayer and the single player stuff. Yeah. So that's what I'm hoping the Avengers game does. Is like you just hop in with somebody else. That would be great. I would love that too. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. That's that's how they do it with Watch Dogs too. You just kind of jump in with somebody else's gameplay or whatever. Hopefully, hopefully this isn't an MMO because I don't want that at all. Speaking. Of Watchdogs, I didn't even mean to do that segue, but they uh, they came out. There's a new one coming out in 2020. Watchdogs. I've seen the the uh, I like I've heard of of the announcements. I didn't. Is there like a trailer for it? I never watched no, the trailer. They for just it. they were just name dropped it. Okay. Watchdog Legion. The second one know. was actually really good. Watchdogs it was. was really great. I actually played that and I finished it and it was really fun. It was a little, yeah, it was great. I don't I know. Play this one would was it better than the first one? You thought? Oh, for sure. Yeah. The first one, the first one, they tried to like they were hyping up as it being like the be this is gonna be the best game ever. It's gonna change the way you look at video games. And then it came out, and you were just like a Nicolas Cage man in a trench coat, just doing like Grand Theft Auto stuff. And it was like, all right. The second one actually, the second one kind of knew what it was. They weren't trying to like take it and make it this like dark, gritty, like uh, everything's dark and serious. They were like, hey, this is nonsense. Like, just have fun. And and the hacking was improved, and you could like you could hack pretty much everything. And it, it was a lot of fun. And I hope the Watch Dogs 3 or whatever the hell it's called is Legion. similar to that. Legion. Legion. Watch, Dogs. Watch Dogs Legion. Comes out apparently next year. I have, I didn't even know they were making a third one. I thought they were scrapping that. I still think the first one, the dude is Batman. He just sounds like Batman to me. I'm just saying. I'm Batman. Batman. I don't even know his name. I forget the character's name. Aiden Pierce. Oh, yeah. Why do I know his name? I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. I haven't played the game in like four years. I don't know the second the second dude's name either. The guy His name was like Marcus something. Oh yeah, that's right. That, that's Marcus right. Blackman. That's racist. He's you a black man. You can't say that on the internet. He was a black man. You're a black man. So I can say it. Wade Blackman. Wade Blackman. That's my new name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, the Assassin's Creed information I have. Uh, I have a reliable source on this. He has predicted. Not predicted, but he is friends with somebody who works in the company, and he's gotten the last three Assassin's Creed games right. So I think I told you about this already, but it was a while ago. The new Assassin's Creed game is probably going to be Vikings related. Stuff. Yeah, I've heard I've heard about this. I didn't play Odyssey because I'm kind of like either. done with Ubisoft's like bullshit. It, it seems like the same game as Origins, to be honest. It just takes place in different. Yeah, time. I mean Origins was great. I really enjoyed Origins, and I think that setting was pretty awesome and unique. The ancient Greece, I'm just like, all right, whatever. Uh, Vikings could be cool if you could like be like a Thor type guy and just run around like killing people with a big axe. Like, like are they gonna him. make a chubby assassin? Is that where? Because like when I think of a Viking, I think of a chubby dude with a beard. Yeah, I mean, yeah maybe. But like, how is he gonna climb buildings? All of the job? other assassins have been like jacked to the nines. It'd be cool to have like. Yeah, a fat dude, a little, little fat, little fat Thor looking guy running around. You can only climb up like two stories, and he's windy. Yeah. Change it up a little bit. I can't breathe. <laughs> Change it up. Do a, do a, a fat guy. Also, if we're doing Vikings, does that mean we're getting like an AC four type thing where we're getting more boats than anything else? Like I know Vikings do have a lot of boats. That would be really fun because I I did really enjoy the the boat stuff in four, and then they oh. took it out in the next game. Yeah, but, but I think I think Odyssey brought it back. But I really enjoy that boat combat stuff. If so they're I, doing the time period correctly, I don't know if there's cannons in that time period. They <laughs> shoot arrows at people. Should they have crossbows on the boats. Shoot crossbows and stuff. There's there's always ways of killing people on boats. They can just put cannons in there. Nobody will notice. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't. I haven't played. Like I said, I didn't play Odyssey. I didn't play Syndicate either because Syndicate looked 
Syndicate was kind of bad. It was really like stupid and dumb. It, I've played the beginning of Origins. I haven't finished it. I am terrible. I am terrible at finishing games. Wade knows this. I will start a game and never finish it. You'll finish it like five years from now and be like, "Hey, did you know Origins is really great?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I played it five years ago when it came out." I play game. I finish games that I love, but if I don't love it, I'll take forever to finish. It. That's fair like, enough. Like I never finished Prototype. Speaking of video games that you don't finish i recently finished uh batman enemy within and it was fantastic i, I, should, I wish i finished that it game sooner. that has nothing to do with me not finishing games <laughs> i know i just wanted to name drop that game because i finished it and it was I've, great i've never even heard of that game it's the second season of the telltale batman game oh yeah 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 i forgot i forgot that season even... one was great and season two was also great I forgot they even making that game because well they're dead now so yeah, but, yeah. Because they canceled all their other shit. Um, do you got any piece of news game-wise? Uh, Destroy All Humans is getting a remaster. I'm pretty sure it's just the first game, which I played the fuck out of both Destroy All Humans 1 the and Destroy All Humans The first one is amazing. I don't remember the awesome. second one at all. I first played one's it. awesome. I think I introduced you to the first one, right? You did. You did. You were I, I was obsessed with that game. Like It was awesome. Because you get to just blow up people and stuff. Yeah, you just do whatever you want. Ever. And it was awesome. And 2 was okay. Two to had some good and had some bad, but I don't, I don't a remaster that. of the first one. That's like that's sick. That's, that's huge awesome. news. Wade's gonna buy that shit first. I'm gonna day. buy it, and you, you won't see me for like 15 years because I'm gonna play this. And also, we got to talk about Keanu Reeves, man. Oh yeah, it's his year. It's his year. It's the year of Keanu, 2019. Because I mean, he was Watch Dogs, Toy Story 4, and now he's getting his own video game, or yeah. not his own video game. He he's gonna be. You know, what I say. I mean, Watch Dogs. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, John Wick. John Wick. That's <laughs> a lot of Watch Dogs. That's similar. Uh, we were talking about Watch Dogs. He got me, got me distracted. <laughs> he, well, I mean, he could be. He, he, he honestly kind of is the dude from Watch Dogs 1, just like in real life. No, he's not. He's not a uh, hacker. Um, uh, I'm uh, Nicholas Cage, man. Blah, 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 he's blah. not a fucking hacker. You He's don't the know furthest that. thing from a hacker in John. You don't know that. You don't know what Keanu does. He just murders everybody. He don't. He didn't. Care. Not in real life. In John Wick, though. I'm not talking about John. Wick. I'm talking about Keanu in oh, life. Talking about Keanu. <laughs> okay, so everybody's praising Keanu for all this stuff he's been doing in his past. Like he doesn't touch women when they when he takes pictures and stuff. Like everybody's praising this man. I'm like, why are we praising? Somebody for being a decent human being. He's just because he's, there aren't a lot of decent human beings in Hollywood. He's just a good guy. I'm waiting on, and it's probably going to be controversial for me to say this, but I'm waiting on a, like a scandal of some kind to come out with him because no one is that nice just because he's probably a murderer or something. He probably has like 17 bodies in his closet. 17? At least 17. Possibly. That's a very 18. specific number, I'm just saying. Well, maybe I know some shit that you don't. <laughs> How do you feel about the? I ha, is this a sequel, the Cyberpunk game? No, it's a it's, it's a new it's thing. Own original. What is it about? I haven't. I haven't. I don't it. know because I've been trying to avoid as much of it as possible because I just want to play it. Um, because I loved Witcher Three, and it's the same developers as that, so I kind of just want to go into it without knowing a whole lot. Um, but it's just like a future game where you just do like future person stuff, and apparently Keanu is like a main character. He's like, he's probably he's probably gonna be like your sidekick, where he's just like, hey, here's this mission, go do this. I want to play as him though. I don't. I don't want to mess my side. Play as him too. That Why don't they get big actors to play game care? Because video games, man, they're for children. <laughs> Have you played Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto and all those? I shit? did. Kids love playing cowboys. Yeah, little five year olds. I mean, five year olds. They love stealing cars and beating up hookers. Five year olds. Do every do kid that. loves doing that. I've met very many five year olds on those games <laughs> playing yeah. that. I mean, screaming yeah, that's like, a good point. Screaming like banshees into the microphones, like "shut the fuck up." I don't know who you're. Go talk, for, Jesus. Go talk to your mom. Is this another rant? No, I mean it could have been, but I I'm stopping myself now. <laughs> um, <laughs> what uh, what other E3 stuff did did you have? Anything? That's else? all I have. I didn't watch the show or anything, so I don't have anything because I don't really care about E3. Oh, I told you this earlier. The Doom Eternal. Did Did you play Doom? I played the most recent Doom, Doom 4, technically, but it was just called Doom. And it was good. It was a lot of fun. Um, all we got was this, this new Doom game comes out in November 22nd. So it comes out this year. Isn't this like 
only online? No, it says PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and, and Nintendo Switch. So it's, No, but I mean, like, isn't this, like, does it not have a single player? Because I remember hearing something oh, that it didn't have, like, I have no a idea. campaign, uh, which sucks. I have no idea. Because I hate did the, it. Did the first one have a campaign? Yeah, I mean, it was a basic. It was just like, hey, kill demons on the moon. But, like, I'd like that. <laughs> like, I don't want every game to just be online, especially not Doom. <laughs> The there's apparently a battle mode within the game. <laughs> it's basically Fortnite Battle Royale oh, type Jesus Christ. within it. Apparently they try to spice it up by saying you play the role of a demon and you have to slay all the other characters. That sounds pretty cool though. I think there was a mode like that in the in the other Doom, I think. I didn't play the multiplayer for four, so I don't know, but I I'm pretty sure there was a mode like that. Um if you care there's a new fallout 76 stuff i i heard that game was awful so. i don't i didn't play fallout 76 <laughs> i didn't either i heard it was bad though i heard i've heard i've heard really some bad. like horrendous things about fallout 76 uh they're apparently coming out with like a nuclear winter and there's another there was another update they're coming out with but i don't remember what it was they need to have like a new engine because i hate the, i hate the way that the fallout games look they look like garbage that's the point that's their style it's like borderlands garbage is their style i mean, just gonna make everything look like butt that doesn't I make mean, sense it, the uh, fallout 4 didn't look bad fallout 4 was, it, i mean it didn't look great it's the only fallout i've ever played it looked like way. a telltale game no it didn't look that bad it was pretty close telltale games are made to look that way though they're supposed to be like a comic book i think i think yeah, that's why fallout's not that. supposed to look like a comic book it didn't look like that it did no it didn't it, it looked did, it looked fine for when it came out it came out it didn't come out that long ago it came out like what 2015 2016 Fallout four yeah something like that yeah, that sounds about right but still it's not bad it's pretty bad um we're getting uh, another gears of war did you ever play? I don't even I think I played you all played. three. No, I played all three because when Gears Four came out, I went to GameStop and I bought the first three, uh, leading up into Gears Four. Those games suck. Well, they're making a fifth. It comes out September of this year. Gonna, that game's gonna suck so hard because all the games are exactly the same. And the moment that there there was a moment in Gears Four where they could have done something really cool, but they didn't have the balls to do it. Same thing with Halo. Halo Five was garbage. I spent five hundred dollars on Halo Five. Yeah, because you you went and bought an Xbox so you could just yeah, play that game. Because I was excited for the new Halo and it was poop. I told you that was be a bad investment. I told you not. You were right. Devin, I, hashtag Devin was right. I'm always right. I call everything. I'm just mm, saying. Not always. That one mm. instance you were right. No, I called that shit in Endgame. I'm just saying. I I called that shit. What shit? The cat picking up Thor's hammer. I told you that beforehand. I was I like, watch it happen. That. Watch it happen. I mean, I could have told you that. Oh, yeah. Uh. I, I've never played Gears of War because I've never owned an Xbox and I've never owned a gaming PC, so I can never play it. I you don't need to play them. They're, they're ba- very basic games. But I'm just letting anybody know who cares about Gears of War. They're making a fifth one if you didn't watch E3. But yeah. if you're that if you're that big of a fan, I'm sure you would know by now. So you yeah, don't need me telling you. <laughs> Was there any more uh, information about that new Xbox? Um, I do have... Want me to read you this little summary I got? Sure. Uh, they have a new service on the Xbox called the Xbox Cloud. It says the service will service which will give players the ability to stream whatever they like to play as well as have handheld access to their games. This means that Xbox fans can play games whenever whenever and wherever they want including on their phones and tablets. So that's the new thing coming out with that. It sounds like what Sony was doing with the PS Vita where you could like Yes, but PS4. instead of making a whole new thing, they're making it to where you can use it on your phone. I'd rather have a whole new thing because the PS Vita was awesome. So what is this now that our phones can play games that our consoles can? What the fuck's well, happening Well, it's not like your phone is going to be running. Your phone's just going to be streaming. Your console's going to be streaming to your phone. So it's just like a stream of a game. Sort of. So like, can so I can still play it, though, on my phone. Yeah, I mean, apparently from what it sounds like, that's what... But, and also... PlayStation 4 has this stuff already, right? Like, you can yeah. stream live. You can't, you can't stream, like, on your phone. You can't, like, no, play but on your phone. You, the xCloud also gives you be able to stream online directly, I think. Doesn't PlayStation 4 have that? Like, on Twitch and stuff? Yeah. 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 So, Microsoft, you're running behind here. <laughs> Last generation <laughs> consoles. Always behind. Like, that, that was their big thing, apparently. The xCloud. That was oh, their we big finally thing. have streaming. Something that, that PlayStation's had since it launched. PlayStation 3 had the Vita, so I mean, you're way behind on that. Yeah. 
the Vita did not sell well. I think it still hasn't. They still haven't put out VR. They, they haven't. They announced no. They announced one, but it hasn't came out yet. They announced Microsoft Glass like five oh, yeah, years they, ago, and they, right. they just didn't do anything with it. I swear, I I'm not an Xbox fan. I've never I never have been, and that's this is why I feel like they're behind in all their shit they do because they are. They are. That was their big selling point for this ex- new Xbox, by the way, is the X Cloud. I'm sure we'll get more information. In you the know what their cloud. selling point should be? Having good games. The only thing Xbox has that I think PlayStation needs to do is backwards compatibility. I, I've heard rumors that the PS5 is going to have backwards compatibility. I have heard that too, but it only goes to PS3, I think, or something That's like fine. that. I don't. Well, everyone wants everything. Everything they get to just do everything. PS3. There were great games on PS3. I'm saying all I'm saying is if you want PS1 and PS2 games, just put them on the PlayStation Store and be able to download. Yeah, them. I mean they they do that. They have PlayStation Now. That's I what know. PlayStation Now is. So like I'm just saying. And how how often do you think you're gonna play a shitty PS1 game from 1991? You're gonna play nos- that, you're gonna play that once for nostalgia and be like, oh, this game's bad. <laughs> I was about to say for nostalgia. That's yeah, why you're gonna play for 15 minutes and then turn it I'll off. Go back and play like Lego games for nostalgia. Like Lego Indiana Jones. Nostalgia. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Nostalgia. I'll nostalgia. go back and play Web of Shadows for nostalgia. I want, I've been thinking about getting Web of Shadows again. I don't know if that's on the P- PlayStation 4. But I'll find it. I'm sure there's a version of it somewhere. I'll find it. I'll buy and, a whole PS3 just to play that game. <laughs> I think I still have a PS3, so you can use mine. Yes. I don't know if I have any controllers that work because I used to throw those shit on the floor. I'll find one. <laughs> I'll find uh, the, also from E3, I got a new Halo Infinite. I know you don't care about Halo whatsoever. No, and neither I do I. Track. I'm just letting people know. There was apparently a trailer for it. I don't care. I didn't see it. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about Halo. And then they released stuff about the new Star Wars Fallen Order game, which I don't care about that either. There was apparently... Either, which is unfortunate because we need... There was to- a per- they released apparently a 13 minute long demo of the game, which I didn't see that anywhere. Really? So I don't, yeah. I haven't seen it. I don't even know what the game's about. Is know. this is this from EA? Did is EA making yeah, this? EA is making this. EA has also said there's no microtransactions or loot boxes in it. Well, that's good. It's what they say, but they could be lying. Well, they could, but I don't think they would be. Because I think lost their minds even, when Battlefront had it. And I agree because Battlefront is shit, and you put that in the game to make money. Yeah, and that's the same thing with NBA games. I know you don't play NBA games. I don't. That shit makes me, games. That shit makes me lose my mind. <laughs> so, some I'll, I'll just tell you this: somebody calculated it out. All right, so like you can make your own player on that game, and you upgrade them to be better. To get them to full capacity, you have to play eight thousand hours of gameplay. <laughs> somebody calculated it out. Wow, that's that's real dumb. Or you can spend 120 bucks and max them out in five minutes. Which would you do? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, if you I'd were, play if it, you were a dedicated NBA fan, I have five hundred dollars to spend on a video game. Exactly, it's just a money grab. That's all it is, and that's why I hate microtransactions. In Everyone games. hates them. I don't know. I've never met anyone who's like, "Oh, microtransactions! Oh, that's a great I idea." Think, I think they could be. Businesses. I think they could be in the game as long as it doesn't give you an advantage in the game. I think that's fair. If it all right, fair enough. I think you should just you pay sixty dollars for a game, you should just earn stuff right. in the game. What about DLCs? Do you feel the same thing about DLCs? DLC's, DLCs? different because that's not something you're paying for within the game you've already paid for. That's extra stuff that if you want it, you get it. And usually DLC is like story content that adds on other stuff and they're Yeah, but now they're releasing DLCs that are just skins and stuff like that. Oh yeah, that stuff skins should be in the game. Skins should be in the game. They should that's how, uh, that's how Spider Man is. They and they released. Yeah, they put all that shit. Well, I mean, the DLC had skins too, but. Um, I think that's all of the video game news that I have. I don't think there's anything else that I got. I don't you got anything else? else? All right, let's get into some uh, some film talk here. You want to talk about DC? I've got I've got quite a large list of these. I have stuff. one thing DC wise that I don't think you know, but we'll start with you, and I'll give you mine at the end because mine's related to the Batman. So. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, it turns out Birds of Prey, uh, which apparently is still coming out because they're filming it, uh, is going to have a budget of $75 million. That is, so it's going to be a small film. That is $70 million dollars too much. I'm just saying. 
Yeah, I mean, I've seen behind. I've seen like the set photos of Birds of Prey. That movie looks weird. I don't know why it's coming out. I really don't. Because they want more Harley Quinn. Because that apparently makes money. Oh, because Harley Margo, Quinn was so great in Suicide. Margot Squad. Robbie is hot, so let's put her in more shit. She was so great in Suicide Squad, that Oscar-winning film. I hate that movie. It's a bad film. I still can't believe it won a fucking Oscar. <laughs> it's a bullshit Oscar. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It won one. They could put that on all their disc Oscar winners. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they probably have. Every, every disc Oscar winner. They probably have. They beat Marvel to it. And Ewan McGregor's in Birds of Prey. I know. That's the only thing I'm excited for. He's playing Black Ewan Mask, McGregor. and I hope he wears his Black Mask. Probably won't. It's going to be weird to not have Ben Affleck like cameo in it, because it, it has like all these Batman characters. Maybe they'll have a uh, Patterson cameo in it. I mean, Robert, Robert it, boy, doesn't this come out would, before that? Yeah, that comes out before it, so that'd be a little weird. Teaser of him in a suit. That's what it He's is. He's like, "Hey, I'm." I'm and Patterson. then everybody's gonna lose their shit because they're gonna hate the suit or something. Like, it looks like butt. And it's just him in like a rubber condom, a r- sure black rubber condom. I'm sure the costume will look fine. Full latex. That's what he's in. Bat nipples. They're back. I'd be fine with latex. Just no they're bat back. Nipples. They're bigger than ever. Bat nipples. Oh my god. They're like pancake nips. <laughs> uh, I also have a um, T- DC TV news. Uh, Lobo god. is getting a spinoff on Sci-Fi because he showed up in Krypton. He's getting a whole spinoff? Apparently, yeah. Just for him? Yeah. Okay. Should I be excited about this? <laughs> you should because I like Lobo a lot. Lobo's a cool character. I mean, he's all right. He's a cool character, and you know it. Fine, I'll agree with you. He's amazing. He's the best character in the whole... I wouldn't say the best, but he's pretty, pretty funny. Uh, and we also... There was a trailer for Pennyworth, which is the Alfred TV show. No! I don't understand why I'm this exists. I'm tired of hearing about this, because it's not going to be good. What are they doing? What is the plot to this, first of all? Do I, you know? I think, like, I don't, because I'm not going to give this any you're, attention. You're going to watch it. Don't lie to me. No, I'm not. This is not interesting to me at all. Uh, I think it's like Alfred was like in the army or some shit, or he was like a secret agent when he was younger or some shit. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to make something out of this, and it's, it's gonna uh, have to be interesting. What's his face coming back? Not coming back. Wait, gonna be in the show. I heard the cop dude. I can't remember his name. I want to say, yeah. I can't uh, want to say Gary maybe. Oldman. I'm like, that's not the character's name. That's the <laughs> Gary <laughs> Oldman. Is Gary Oldman coming back? I would love that. Uh, I don't know if Gordon's gonna be in it. I heard oh. I've heard rumors that he's gonna be in it with Penny or what's his face? Alfred. It's Alfred. I was, I was supposed to be Penny. I mean Penny. that's his fucking last name. Pennyworth. Pennyworth. Uh, uh, but this is a dumb thing that I hope gets one season and it gets canceled. Watch, this it'll, not... it'll be amazing drama that everybody loves and it'll get oh like thirteen seasons. I hope not. Because it's not gonna be action, it's just gonna be all talking. It probably will be. It, it looks very British and stupid. It's on like Epics too, which who the hell watches Epics? I didn't even know that still existed, to be honest. I didn't even know that was a channel. I did. I just didn't know it still existed. Uh, also, Doom Patrol apparently uh, has been canceled. Did we just like, talk about yeah. that last week? We talked about Swamp Thing being canceled. Oh, we did. We did lead into Doom Patrol because of that, though. Yeah. Which the this whole DC Universe app just seems like a big failure. Like they have all these shows and stuff, nobody has it apparently, and that's why they're canceling all this stuff because there's no like draw to it, which sucks. Because these shows last way too long, and people can't get. Well, Doom Patrol's only like two seasons. They've only done like two seasons already. Yeah, but like I'm sure they're planning like the next seven or something. Oh, probably. But now it's canceled, so you got to make the money. Got to make that Skrilla scratch. (laughs) Also. Uh, going back to DC movies, uh, apparently, according to Zachary Levi, Shazam 2 could begin production early spring or summer of 2020. So apparently Shazam 2 could possibly happen. Like I said, it probably will happen, but does it take place within DC, the DCEU? Well, the first one does, so yeah. Mm, I mean, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> that does mean it. if it's a sequel, then it will. They could recast the entire thing. We don't know. They're not going to recast Zachary Levi. Why would Zachary Levi... Say, hey, I'm we're gonna do a sequel, but I'm not in it. Because he says I'm gonna be in Thor four, you bitch. So he died. And they resurrected him. I don't want that character to come back. Leave him dead. He had like four lines in the entire series. He did, and he was only in the second, third movie, and then he died. He didn't he didn't have any lines in the last movie, he just died. Yeah, he shows up and he's like, Hey, I'm here to help, and then he gets stabbed because he's a dumb character, and I'm glad he's dead. 
Sif is still alive in that universe. I'm just saying. We're never going to see her again. She'll get her own spinoff show in the I don't D- want, Disney. I don't want that at all. <laughs> you don't need that. She'll show up in the Loki show, maybe. Ah, uh, maybe that could be fun. Uh, what other are you? That's all the DC, DC news I have. I have, I have two actually. I, I forgot. I have another one. Oh, I so, have one uh, more. Okay, hit me with it. The Batman is rumored to feature Catwoman, Penguin, Riddler, and Firefly as the villains. That is. That's a lot Which, of villains. I'm okay with Riddler and Firefly. One because I want a proper Riddler. That's not Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey? No. I, say, I, think Jim Carrey. I don't want Jim Carrey. I don't, on, I don't want the flipping he's... like crazy Joker in like a leotard. I want the Riddler from like the animated series. He's already he's already in Sonic, which I don't even know if that movie's ever gonna come out now that they got so much yeah, backlash. It's, it's gonna come out. They they filmed it and just put it out. It'll it'll be canceled. He something. could be they could bring him back as Firefly though. Why? Jim Carrey doesn't want to do that. He's done. Oh. I don't think I think he's done with superhero movies. He's never gonna come back. Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, that's it. That's all he's got. The mask was great, but he made that like twenty years ago. Oh, I think he's done with it. I don't think those are those are his type of movies. But Sonic is. Yeah, apparently. I mean, he doesn't have to do much. He just talks. He's the main villain. He talks like they're not gonna fight. It's Sonic. He didn't he, fight in Batman Forever either. He just walked around in a dumb leotard. I mean, that's what you say. That's you. Have you not seen Batman Forever? Because that's no. all he did. He was just like, "Hey, I'm Jim Carrey." Uh, no. No, I've not seen every Batman movie like you have. I've I not have seen everything my job. Batman related ever like you That's have. That's my job. I what have is... to seeing oh, every Batman related piece of media there is. <laughs> I, so is that all your DC news? That's all my DC stuff so far. I, I just want to say, I feel like that's too many villains for one movie. Oh, I mean, it is. I don't want four. It could work, I guess. But if some of them are just minor roles, just make it Riddler and Firefly. Like, just do that. And you said the penguin and Catwoman. Is that what you said? Yeah. Was four. Yeah. Take out the penguin. We don't need the penguin. Maybe have a small like Catwoman cameo. Like maybe she just shows up, but it's like, hey. I don't feel like Catwoman's up. gonna be a villain in that movie. I feel like she's just gonna like, just dot the dot I mean, the she, line. They always have to like make her a villain at first, and then they team up at the end because that's yeah. the only that's story they, you can tell. The only way you can tell that. Yeah. I don't think. I think if she's in it, she's just gonna play like a really minor role. I, mean, I think I hope so. It'd be cool if she was just like a cameo. I don't want this, but I think the penguin's going to be the main villain. Yeah, I don't want that either. But I think that's what's going to happen. So I got two DC related news. James Gunn wants to help rebuild the DC universe. I heard about this. I don't know if that means he wants to help like schedule movies and stuff. I think like he's going to be the Kevin Feige. I think once Guardians 3 comes out, I think he's probably going to move over more to DC than like be their Kevin Feige. But I thought he was going to do more Guardians movies after that. I hope not. Just make three. I think he said he wanted to do three, but if he did more, it'd be a different cast, like different team. I mean, maybe cast. maybe he'll just be the guy who just does whatever the fuck he wants, and he, he jumps between. He's the only one that can jump in between each one. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's already doing that. So. I mean, the DC Universe does need a leader, somebody to plan this besides Warner Brothers. Yeah, they need some kind of Kevin Feige type figure. Because I think they're just making movies and not caring if they connect or whatever. Yeah. So I mean, um, he'd, he'd be a good a good choice for it. This is this is news. There was a uh, a fan picture of the guy from Home Alone. How do you know how to pronounce? Oh, Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. As Ma- Macaulay Cluck Cluck Cluck. Somebody <laughs> somebody made a fan picture of him as the Joker. I've seen that too. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Yeah, and uh, somebody asked him about it, and he said he'd be willing to do it if I'd they... be totally fine. He's got a weird. Have you like heard him? Because he, he has like a podcast and stuff. He does like YouTube stuff now. He's got like a really like sp- spooky laugh. He he looks like a crazy person. <laughs> he he, so... what do you mean he looks like a crazy person. He is a crazy person. What if he got cast as Patterson's Joker? How would you feel about that? Would I mean, I think that'd be. I'd be totally fine with that. Because if I still have a theory that Joker's connected to the Batman, and if it is, and then Pattinson has kind of a different Joker, that means we'll probably see the three Jokers storyline play out. So we might have like multiple Jokers in this universe, which could be dope. And I'd bring if he's Jared one Leto. of them, that'd be fine. Don't bring, bring back Jared Leto. <laughs> he's too busy being a vampire over in Sony. Oh yeah, I forgot the Morbius movie is going to come more, out. The movie that nobody cares about. 
great. Nobody gives a shit about that. <laughs> um, I have some Netflix news. You want to hear that? Sure. That's your boy, Jakey Jake. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jakey? Jake. They're making a live-action adaptation of the Tom Clancy Division game. They've been working on this because they announced originally it was going to be a movie. Yeah. And then they realized that the Division sucked. And I guess now they are just scaling it back to a series, which I guess is fine. But Jake Gyllenhaal is going to star. It's been official. I mean, hey, that's cool. I mean, it's it's the division is just going to be like another post-apocalyptic fucking show. Like, it's not going to be anything special. I didn't think Jake Gyllenhaal did Netflix movies or series or whatever. He did, he did a Netflix movie like not too long ago. But <laughs> Velvet Buzzsaw or whatever, which I heard was really bad. But uh, everybody's doing Netflix. I may watch this just because Jake Gyllenhaal is in it. But, I mean, yeah, that's I'll definitely watch it just because of him. And if it sucks, I'll stop watching it. But <laughs> um, I got some Godzilla two news. Godzilla two? Yeah. There's new. It's already out. We got <laughs> somebody asked the director why King Kong didn't show up at the end of the movie because he's dead. Apparently, King he said basically King Kong's too smart. That's why he didn't show up at the end. King Kong is a big monkey. He heard like you know how like the. The Ghidorah thing made a noise and all the monsters came to him or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently King Kong heard it and was like, fuck that noise. I know that's How not... does he know that's Ghidorah for one? He, that could he be doesn't. anything. He's like... He... How, how the hell... Isn't Ghidorah an alien? He is, but he's, he's supposed to be signaling that he's the new alpha because he killed Godzilla. Yeah, killed... but how does he know if he's an alien? How does he know what that sound means? He, he can't know. even understand that sound because he's an alien. I think their thing is that like, all the giants or whatever have uh, like a signal or something. That's I don't think it's dumb. Basically, King Kong, he said King Kong was like, fuck that noise. That's not an alpha. That's just a predator. So he didn't. I go. think they ran out of money and they just didn't want to see GM. I really want to see the scene where he's swimming across the ocean to get to wherever he's going. That'd just, be really funny. Because he's just, just swimming as fast as he can. I mean, if he's big enough, he could probably just like take two steps and he's there. I mean, it's on an island. Yeah, how far is that island from wherever the hell Godzilla? Where was Godzilla in the second one? He was in like Europe. Uh, I don't remember. I don't know. Like I, maybe it's close to Europe or wherever. Uh, I I don't want to rant about that movie, but the movie's bad, and I hate that it's bad. It's really bad. I just I went into it hoping for the first one again. I guess. And it well, didn't I didn't want the first one. I wanted just like a fun. I wanted a good sequel. That's what I. That's what I meant by I wanted the first one. Because the first one was good. I like the first like one. The first Even one. People shit on that movie. People, <laughs> people don't like the first one because they've never seen the original Godzilla. The first one's great. I first don't know I how. Don't. I don't know how they're doing King Kong versus Godzilla after that movie. Because Godzilla fight. Godzilla is living up to the name of he's basically a god. He became a, like a demon at the end of the. He segment. melted buildings by standing next to him. Like what? The Godzilla's gonna or King Kong's gonna have to have like swords or something. And I've heard uh, the guy who made. Godzilla 2 said that they have like three movies planned after that. So, oh my god. Like Godzilla and King Kong movies or are they doing like Jet Jaguar and like Mothra and stuff? It's supposed to be like a monster universe so I don't I don't know. I mean hey maybe. I don't know. We'll get a uh, Godzilla versus Ghidorah part 2 or something. Do Mecha Godzilla. Yes! That's what I was hoping it would happen in Godzilla 2. Do Baby Godzilla. No, don't do that. Do the that one movie where Godzilla talks. No, don't do that either. <laughs> Come on, keep it keep it realistic. At least. Realistic with giant monsters. I hope King Kong versus Godzilla is amazing. It's not going to be amazing. It, it's if it's just them two fighting for two hours. It's not going to be that. It's going to be a bunch of. It's going to be them fighting for like ten minutes and then a don't bunch of bullshit. Focus on bullshit humans. I don't care about. They're any going of them. to. I didn't care about any of the humans in Kong. I don't care about any of the humans in Godzilla too. I cared about Brian Cranston in the first one. That's it. And Maybe they'll him. bring him back. He's dead. Ah, we didn't technically see him die. He's dead. We saw him in, in like a little bag for a second, and then they buried like, him. Did they? Maybe. I mean, it's a monster universe. Maybe he'll come back as like a zombie monster. Or Godzilla like resurrects. Him. Godzilla <laughs> breathes that atomic breath. He's he comes a back god, alive. so he can do that. He's a Godzilla. Um, I got some. I got some Marvel news. I guess it's not really. Super amazing news! I've got uh, a couple. Endgame comes out August thirteenth on Blu-ray. Good. I know, I know you're happy about that. Um, Tom Hill, Tom Hillen, Tom Holland, <laughs> Tom Holland, Tom Holland has 
stated in an interview that he improvised his entire scene with Robert Downey Jr. when Iron Man was dying. That whole the whole thing improvised. Uh, I could see that. I mean, I thought that was pretty. Everyone's good. always surprised when like they find out these moments in movies are improvised. I'm like, they're actors. Like they're gonna improvise some stuff. Apparently, Thor Ragnarok is all improv. Which that's a mistake. We have there's scripts for a reason. <laughs> But I mean, I kind of just contradicted myself, but I don't really care. <laughs> I think Tom Holland did a pretty good job, even though it's basically yeah, it's basically Infinity War, but flipped. But it was pretty. I mean, good yeah, kind for- of. His his scene was a little bit more emotional, and Tony Tony just kind of looked and was like, "Oh, you're dust." Boo. I mean, I'm still an asshole. Like that's. Did Tom Holland improvise the scene in Infinity War? Didn't they say that too? Did he? I I didn't hear about that. I don't know. Like I think he was supposed to die, and not say anything. But he's he said the line of I don't, don't want to go. go and they kept it, it in or something. Uh, do you got any other? Do you have any other MCU stuff? Cause the last thing I have is Dark Phoenix related. <laughs> um, I have apparently, according to Paul Rudd, future Ant Man movies are in doubt. Yes, I saw that too. I don't believe that's true. I think he's just saying noise. I mean, I could I could see that. I mean, Ant Man Ant Man to me is like Black Panther. He's he he doesn't need his own like trilogy. He doesn't need like five movies. He he's got two. They're fun. You know, he can still be in the MCU as Ant Man, I mean, just show up in other stuff. I know the first one didn't make a lot of money because nobody knew who he was and who Ant Man was. The second one didn't make a whole lot either. It made enough. It made money, but it didn't like blow I think up. It made like seven hundred million or something. I don't think it made that much at all. Mm-hmm. I'm about to Google this, but yeah, you keep talking while I figure this out. But I mean, like, I'm I'm totally fine with this because Ant Man is a, a D list character in the comics that nobody like. New before the movie, and people still like kind of don't really give that much of a shit about Ant Man. So I'd be fine if it, you know, it made six hundred and twenty-two million. That's more than I thought it did. Which isn't bad. That's pretty good. No, that's pretty good. I know. And the first one made five hundred nineteen million. That's pretty good as well. But Marvel has to make a billion dollars on everything, so maybe they're just like, yeah, well, like Marvel and Black Panther made a billion each, and then yeah, Endgame almost made three billion. So I mean, they got to hit a billion. Nowadays, so maybe they're looking at Ant Man and just being like, "Ah, oh, it's not making enough money." But I mean, it made the first two made enough to where they could make a third one. But it's not a billion, Devin. They kind of like tease something epic, like Ant Man. But dies. it's not. It's not a billion, Devin. I don't know what the third one would even be about, though, because like, his story's kind of wrapped do, up. Do a prequel with Michael Douglas. Is that a third? That's not a third one, then. That's three Ant Man movies, though. They're not in a row. They're not. It doesn't matter. Of, that one would technically be the first one, and then Ant Man would be the second one, and then Ant Man and the Wasp would be the third one. I don't. I don't think any of this is true. To be honest, I think he's just saying noise. To I mean, it might not be. Also, but he it, may not know shit because Marvel doesn't tell anybody anything. So maybe he's just being goofy, Paul Rudd. But I mean, I could see it happening if it is true. I mean, I could see it too. But I'm gonna wait until the Phase Four announcements come out to see if it's true. When are those coming out? They, they say after. Uh, Far from home, so we gotta wait for Far from Home to come out. And then Jesus Christ! They didn't they say th- they would also like release a timeline, like an official timeline after Infinity War, and we're still waiting on one. I don't remember that. I, I remember Kevin Feige. Fuck, he was like, "Oh, we'll we'll make one after Infinity War." And then they just everybody was freaking out from Homecoming, being like, "Here's the here's the timeline." Yeah, because it doesn't make any sense. They it fucked doesn't. it. Sony's fucking retarded, and they can't. They also. Can't numbers correctly apparently they can't or they just don't care like they don't they're just like oh let's throw let's throw an n- arbitrary number up here it was eight years whatever they could have just said years later they didn't even have to put a number yeah but they it's didn't something. have to do that they could have just cut to the present it's been like hey here's modern day why did you have to throw a number up there you fucked up the whole thing dr strange 2 apparently films in january is it got um scott is he coming back the dude scott. who made the first the director who made the first scott oh scott derrickson um I assume so. Yeah, I think so. Good, because I don't know if somebody could make a sequel to that and make it good. Because I, I like mean, the I first think one. anyone. All you got to do is just make it weird and trippy. The first one is great. I know you don't think it's great. First one's all right. I like the first one. It's just not. It's just Iron Man again. It's great. I love it. I love the end. The end is amazing. The end is the best part. The end is incredible. I like. The, I like two hours the whole, to get to the end. I like watching the whole thing. The whole thing's fun for me. It's and a mainly, good movie. It's I, it's not amazing. I have a soft spot for. Um, Benedict Cucumber. I, I like Benedict Cumberbatch a lot too. I like when he played a dragon in those shitty Hobbit movies. I've seen the uh, the backstage or the backstage. Oh, it's so goofy. The, it the like mocap stuff. He's like, like why did you have him do this? 
He's like laying on the floor. He's and... just like rubbing up against the floor. He's like doing the war. I'm like, why did you? He could have just went into a VO booth. Like he's a dragon. Why are you mocapping a dragon? It doesn't matter. It looked good. The dragon? Yeah. I mean, the dragon looked fine. Smaug. 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 However the fuck you pronounce it. It was fine. I, I, also, I, forgot, I, he, I also forgot that um, he voices Dormammu and mocaps Dormammu. In- Dormammu. Do you think we'll see Dormammu like in full in the second one? Or do you think Mordo is going to be the villain? I feel like it's going to be Mordo. That's what they kind of hinted towards in the second one. Yeah, I think maybe Dormammu. It'd be cool if Dormammu was like the big, like the next like Thanos type guy, where it's just like he's going to be thought. the next big villain. That's what I thought they were going to do. But now that they have the Fox characters and they have all the big villains from that, I don't think they are going to do it. I, I mean, that I was think like they should. Because now they got they got Galactus, Doctor you, I mean... You can't just do game. Doctor Strange 3 and just have Dormammu just show up and be another villain like Hela, where they introduce them and say, oh, they can do whatever they want, and then just blow them up at the end, like all these fucking superhero movies do nowadays. Don't do that with Dormammu. Well, I feel like Doctor Strange alone can't defeat Dormammu, so... No, he can't, so it's got to be some kind of team-up. It's got to be like right. the Revengers versus, you know... And they Dormammu could totally pull up, uh, by that time, Fantastic Four and throw them in there with it. So, I mean, Ooh, that could be neat. The Fantastic Five. Yeah, that could be fun. Uh, I'm excited for Doctor Strange too. To be honest, I, I, I want to see I want to see more wacky shit. I hope it's even weirder than the first one. And I hope that with uh, multiverse stuff, they get into that more in Doctor Strange too, because that would be awesome. They probably will. I, I think they will. I want a full blown multiverse going on. I want to see. Uh, I mean, I don't want it to get too complicated. I want to see crazy shit happening because then it'll end up like the DC universe right now. No, there's no multiverse in that, so I don't care. There is. No, there's there's not. like seven multiverses in the DC universe. There's the right TV now. universe and there's the movie. Not universe. all the TV shows are in the same universe, though. The CW shows are. And then there's the, all the DC universe shows. And then there's Gotham. And then there's Pennyworth. And then there's all these other bullshit shows that I'm nobody like, watches. I was going to say, I thought Gotham and Pennyworth were in the same. No. Not. What, no. What the. What, the what, what? All these shows are separated. They're all in their own bullshit little universes. See, that's why I don't watch DC shows because it makes sense. It don't make sense. I, I want to watch Gotham though. I'm waiting for season five to come on Netflix. So I can watch it. Isn't uh, is Bruce Wayne in that? He's show? in the season. He's through the whole show, but we don't see Batman until the last season, like the last episode. I think. I, say he, I heard something about him in the season finale or something. Yeah, we finally get to see the, the Bat in the, the last bat. episode, which I've seen the suit, and the suit looks real dumb. The detective. The detective. Um, my last thing is Dark Phoenix related. It dropped eighty three percent over the weekend. <laughs> so box I don't know. Office if, wise? Yeah, box office wise. Wow, Jesus! I don't know if you know the average for movies, but it's about forty five percent from the first second weekend, and it yeah, dropped it's not eighty percent. It Jesus, dropped eighty three percent because of how bad the reviews were for the first. I th- and I think the reviews, if you really look at like, I've seen a lot of YouTube reviews of it. A lot of people are kind of just like, ah, eh, it's whatever. I think. Rotten Tomatoes really kind of fucked the movie because it's not as bad as everyone's saying it is. It's just kind of whatever, you know? I don't think it's great, but it's like, it's whatever, you know? But yeah, that's all the news that I have. You got anything else you want to cover? Uh, that's all the Marvel stuff I have. I have some other, like, movie... All right, hit me with it. Let's see what stuff. you got. And some TV stuff. Um, Tar- Quentin Tarantino, the, the old man himself, uh, has said that his Star Trek will be R-rated if he has his way. How do you feel about an R-rated Star Trek? I heard about that. I think that could work really well, actually. I think that's weird. I just can't picture Star. Like, is Captain Kirk gonna say the N-word? Like, what? Why does this need to be R-rated? Bro, <laughs> get back in the no. Um, I mean, you could th- you could show way more violence. I mean, yeah, but like, it was it, that's not really what Star Trek was about, was it? I mean, no, it wasn't about seen- hey, we need to murder the fuck out of everything. It was more about that. Is it is the newest one Into Darkness or is that the Into Darkness was the second one and that's the only one of the new Star Trek movies I've seen and it was really bad. I've seen the first one. I don't think I've seen Into Darkness. What's the third one called? Beyond. I've definitely not seen that one. I've heard that one was actually like pretty okay. I've heard all of them are that, solid. That one has Idris Elba in it. Yeah, no. I've heard they're all solid. The first one was solid. The, the first second one was terrible. I haven't seen the second. Just as a movie, it was just I was like, this is dumb. Um. They're probably trying to make money off the Deadpool Logan stuff, I'm guessing. I mean, probably. I just can't, like, because Tarantino has a distinct style, and I can't see it with Star Trek at all. I just just can't. 
I don't know if they're doing it for language, violence, or what. Maybe they want to show us some butts. I don't know. I mean, maybe. I, we're definitely going to get an N-word at some point, because Tarantino loves... If he's writing it, we're getting... We're going to get so that many. That wouldn't make sense in Star Trek, though. They're all, like, weird aliens. I've never seen a black dude in there, either. That is Jordy LaForge, dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. Le- LeVar Burton himself. Yeah, they could N-word him? Do you think so? Well, he's not going to be in it, but they'll have somebody in it. When you, in... I know, but, like, a character like him, you're going to N-word... Get Sam Jackson. All right, if Sam Jackson's in that movie, I'm going to see it. And then he'll say he'll say all the n words. He'll, he'll drop the motherfucker. I still don't know Tarantino's involvement with this. I think originally they said he was just going to produce it, which is fine because I don't I want this. I don't want him to like write and direct it because I don't want this to be like his last film because that'd be weird. I, I would assume he'd be producing it if I had to guess. I'd rather see the Django Zorro movie to be honest. Me too. I'd rather have him make that because that sounds amazing. This is a little yeah. like, uh, I didn't even know they were planning on making a new Star Trek until I heard about this news. So, yeah, this is they, I think they announced this like a year or two ago. And I'm they've not kind of like talking about it. I'm not a huge Star Trek fan, not as much as Star Wars, but like, if it's good, I may get into it. But like, I, like I said, I've never gotten into the other two, so I don't know if I'd even watch it. Yeah, this I mean, one. I'm not a huge Star Trek fan either. I've seen a few episodes of Next Generation. And I've seen like a couple of the movies, but that, I'm not like huge into it or anything. Um, but if Tarantino's involved, I'm fucking saying it. So, well, you'll you'll let me know if the R rated was worth it or not. Cause yeah, it was, it was in words for two hours. <laughs> there was butts and sex everywhere, butts and boobs and exploding guts and everything. But no f bombs. Uh, no f bombs. That'd be really funny. <laughs> Next up, uh, we have. Annie Potts returning for Ghostbusters three. Annie Potts played Janine, the secretary, in the original two Ghostbusters movies. Amazing! That's that will change that movie forever. Well, apparently, like the the whole cat, like the original know, cast, the whole back. cast except for the one isn't the 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 one guy is not in it because he's dead. Yeah, which sucks because he's fucking Egon. I don't think anybody but wants. I don't think they're gonna be like main characters though because they've cast the main cast and they're all kids. I think these are just gonna be like cameos. I mean, they're so old. Like, why, why does this movie exist? Why are they still trying to make a franchise out of Ghostbusters? Because apparently it's still profitable, even though we established that it wasn't with the Girlbusters. So. I, it's, I don't know. They, they need to stop. They need to quit. Just Ghostbusters 1 is still great. I watched it not too long ago, and it's still great. It is. And Ghostbusters 2 is okay. It's okay. It gets more shit than it deserves. And I haven't seen Ghostbusters, so I can't. I can't. See I haven't it. either. I refuse to see Ghostbusters, but I've seen I've enough seen of it to to judge it. I've seen the trailer, and I know that it's terrible. Yeah, it looks awful. I can judge movies on trailers because we're. I'm just that good at predicting movies. Next up, have you seen The Shining? Yes, and no. I've. Kind of, what? What about it? Did you see the trailer for Doctor Sleep, which is the sequel to The Shining? Have not. I've never. Like, I mean, when McGregor McGregor's in it, however the fuck you say his name, he's getting in a lot of stuff now. He's getting back into the. He's getting now. back into it after being Obi Wan. Uh, I, I saw this trailer. It's really kind of weird. It kind of looks like they're just doing The Shining again. Which is say, the weird. Shining itself is kind of weird. So. Yeah, but it looks weird in the way that like it's just The Shining again. Like it's it's The Shining, but you and McGregor plays the little boy, and he's like all grown up. Are they. They're bringing the girls back, the, tw- like the little girl twins. There's going to be some kind of reference, probably. Is uh, Jack Nicholson going to appear? That'd be amazing, because Jack Nicholson hasn't done anything in like He's not 10, 15 old. years. He totally He's in it. his 80s. Totally do it. He can... I mean, he could. I, I would love that if you know we got yeah, some I mean... kind of reference. But it, the ending of it was a little vague, if he died or not, because he like froze to death or whatever. Yeah, but they could, just, um, yeah. just they could CG, him, CG him in the movie. Who gives a shit? Um, I, I mean, I'll check it out. I think it comes out in November. I'll check it out at some point. I need to I rewatch The Shining because I, I don't understand s- why I have seen The Shining, but it's probably been like five years. Shining's and I fantastic. Don't, I don't think I finished it. So, Shining's fantastic. I love I was, it. It's probably my was, favorite scary movie. I'm a busy person and I was doing something else while watching it. You should definitely rewatch it. I know it's a classic. Everybody says it's a classic. It's amazing. I'll definitely have to rewatch it. Uh, next piece of news. Uh, did you see A Quiet Place? Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, you did? A Quiet Place 2 will explore the monster's origins. I don't care about the monster's origins. Exactly. That's not what that movie was about. 
I love. I actually really liked A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place was fun. I had a lot of problems with it because there's a lot of dumb shit in that movie, but it was yeah. fun. I enjoyed it. What's his name? Is it Andy or whatever? And John Krasinski. John. Why did I think his name was Andy? I have no idea. <laughs> Emily Blunt and stuff, and they killed off John Krasinski. Which spoilers? Me. That movie's been out for two years. You, I came out last year. If you haven't seen it. You, you just should. ruined that movie for a bunch of people. It was it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I, I don't really, understand why it's getting a, a sequel. Like what? Um, like obviously now it's going to explore the the origins it, of the monsters, but like it kind why? Kind of ended on a cliffhanger. If you think about no, it. No, I, I mean I could see that as just like an ending. Like all right, because the the story was about this family. It had nothing to do with the monsters. Who get like the mon- They didn't explain anything about the monsters because that's not the point. They're missing the point with the sequel. I don't. I, yeah, I don't care about the origins of them because it just start. The movie just starts out and they're already there, so it's just like yeah. oh. There's these monsters. Not the story. It doesn't matter. There's monsters on the planet, so we gotta try to take them out or survive or whatever. Yeah. So another movie is being ruined by. You and know, you know what the origin franchise. is? I'm betting it's aliens. If I, I think th- I think they were already confirmed that they were aliens in the yeah, first. So, movie. I think there was something like on the newspaper that was like, "Oh, they're aliens." Whoa, whoa. So oh, there you go. There's a movie. They're just aliens. Done. Next. Uh, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone says more Rambo could follow after Last Blood. Which doesn't no. make any sense at all. No, it's called the. They're promoting it as the last <laughs> one. It's called Last Blood. I, didn't they? Isn't there like a little thing, like a little title card that comes up says it's like the last adventure or something like that? Yeah, it's, like, oh, it's, uh, it's my last, my last ride. Boo, boo, boo. Why the fuck would they make another one? I don't know. They could do like Son of Rambo or some shit. I don't know. No, no. They got to keep the franchise going somehow. There's been like, was this the fifth Rambo? That's the Fourth? fifth one, yeah. I've only seen the first two. And first one's they're great. The first one is great. The second one is not good. The second one's all right. It, have, it you has seen, have you seen the part where he shoots a rocket launcher out of a helicopter? That is so unrealistic. Isn't that the third one? Maybe it is. I've seen that one then. I've seen three of them, if that's the case. Because three is when he's like he, he shoots an arrow at a helicopter and explodes. No, he's in a helicopter. He has a rocket launcher. And he fires it out. It might have been the second one. I those movies blend together for me. He fires it out, and then there's like a kickback of explosion in the opposite direction, and that should have blown up his helicopter. <laughs> but nothing happens. Those movies are so stupid, except for the first one. The first one's legitimately the first one's amazing. I love the whole. It's in a small town. He just yeah. It's, just like, it's it's not even like an action movie. It's like a drama. My favorite scene is when he's in the mud. He's just his eyes open. <laughs> It just it starts murdering everybody. Oh, it's amazing. My favorite scene it. is when he throws a rock at the cop and he like falls out of the helicopter and dies. Yeah, I, I love the first Rambo. I don't want to see the new one because I don't care. It just looks like Rambo 4 again. Do you think, versus... do you think in the new one they'll kill him? you think he'll die? Um, I mean, the original ending of First Blood was that Rambo like shot himself and he died. So it, maybe they do that in some kind of callback. I don't think they're going to do that, though. I mean, in the first one, that would have made sense. He was kind of a depressed. I would have loved that if First Blood had that ending. That would have been amazing. I mean, he has that really sad dialogues at the end where he's yeah. explaining like all his buddies got blown up and stuff like that, and he's all sad. So, I mean, it, made, it would have fit in the movie. It wouldn't have been weird. It would have, and it would have made it even better. I don't know if it would have made it better. It would have been, been, it would have been like one of my favorite movies if, if it ended that way. I think it would have been the same, to me at least. I, don't, I feel like they might kill him, but if they say they're going to make more, I doubt they will. I don't know. They, they didn't kill Rocky. They didn't need to kill Rocky. Rocky's fine staying alive. Rambo's fine staying alive. Rambo need No, Rambo's a murderer. Rocky's Rambo, just, at this point, is like an immortal being. Like, you can't kill him. True. Who's going to be Who's gonna be the one dude to take out Rambo? Rock. Ooh, that'd be, that'd be pretty Idris funny. Elba and The Rock. They come from... Get The uh, Rock. Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw. Shaw. It's the Hobbs and Shaw Cinematic Universe. That's all the movie news I have. All right, I think that's all I got. You ready to get? I forgot. I didn't I, see uh, it. Well, I've got one bit of TV news. Okay, yeah, go go for uh, it. Go Daredevil for it. season three, uh, the the big prison fight, not eligible for an Emmy due to length. I saw that. I think that's some bullshit. It sucks. That really sucks. I don't understand how these awards are given out. I don't understand the rules. Why? It's all not. I mean, Emmys, Oscars, they're all nonsense. They're all a bunch of old people who don't understand movies anymore. Like, if that doesn't qualify, why? Like, because they it's, said it's, of it's the only length. because of the length. That's the only reason. Why does that matter? I don't know. I think the limit is like three minutes. I think that cinema, cinematography-wise, it's amazing. I'm just it's, saying. it's 
in, I remember seeing that and being like, holy shit, like they're still going. It's like 11 minutes. I know. And, I, and it's all I just, one shot. I know. I keep, every time I watch it, I'm like, how do they do this? How do they uh, choreograph yeah, this? To be- they did it like nine times. Like it's they amazing. They just kept doing it over and over. Like that's amazing. It is, and it's it's a work of art. And I don't. I mean, if it doesn't get an award, it doesn't get an award. Whatever. But it probably deserved one. To be it definitely deserves one. That whole show deserves one. It's it's a great show. I think it's a good ending to the show, even though it has a little cliffhanger ish at the end. Of it's great. Last. It's a great little three season little story. Daredevil is the best Netflix show on the best Marvel Netflix show. Oh yeah, for sure. It's it's one of my favorite shows. It is, and I think season three is the best season, even though you disagree with me on that. I like season one a lot. Season three is pretty great. Season, I love. Um, I think Bullseye. all seasons are great, but I love Bullseye and I love Kingpin. I, Bullseye I love, was was awesome. What they did with Bullseye, really. I, I was really, I was really hoping they got him right because. I remember Bullseye. They tried to make a Bullseye. and uh, They didn't get him right, but I like that because they actually made him an interesting character. I know. And I was worried that he was going to be really boring. <laughs> and they didn't. They made him really interesting. And I love yeah. it. Love. I love the whole cast, except for Karen. Fuck Karen. I like Karen. Fuck you. She's annoying in a lot She's of ways. She's great. She was a badass. She's all right. I don't care about all the side stories. You just hate women. I know I don't. You're a sexist. It's completely not true. I love Jessica Jones. She's an amazing character. I, I like her. I'm going to talk about that in a minute because I have. I'm going to disagree I mean, with you there. With the first two seasons, she's a good character. I don't know about the third. I, season. Well, I disagree with you there too. She's a drunk addict, drunk addict, and alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, officially, it's over. The Netflix Marvel. It's it's over. Over ended with. Do you Can want you to talk that about started in 2015? I mean, it it doesn't feel like it was only four years ago. I feel like it's been way longer, but it kind of has. But it's only but we were still years. we were still in high school when fucking Daredevil came out. Like that's nuts. It is and they how many seasons did they have total? Like ten, <sighs> Probably, at ten. least yeah, at least ten. So I mean, that's pretty good for four years. Ten seasons of oh of yeah, show. I don't know. I'd say so. Um, would you rather talk about Jessica Jones first, or I have two movies I've actually saw over the weekend that are new. So uh, right. well, if you have two, then I'll I'll do my first because I don't think because I won't be able to do spoilers because you haven't seen it yet. Yeah. So mine will probably mine probably won't be that long. I forgot I saw a new Netflix movie with Adam Sandler in it. Oh, <laughs> with the, the mystery murder yeah, mystery whatever murder mystery with Jennifer. Tell Anderson. me tell me how that is because I want I want to I it's, might watch that. <laughs> I mean, it's it's an Adam Sandler movie. What do you expect out of it? Well, is it like Happy Gilmore Adam oh, Sandler or is it like Jack and Jill Adam Sandler? It, neither it's an in between. <laughs> um, uh, it's it's basically murder on Orient Express, but Adam Sandler spin it. Spend oh, my, it. oh my god, that sounds it's, awful. Like I don't. Do you want to know what happens, or do you want me to just? It's like if you're gonna see it, I'm not gonna like spoil it for you. I mean, I'll probably watch it. I'll probably give it a watch. How did how did, I forget? How did the murder happen on murder or like he just somebody just died, right? I don't remember. It had something to do with Johnny Depp. Yeah, basically in this one, somebody somebody just dies, and then Adam Sandler's a fake detective, and Jennifer Aniston's wife, and he's got to solve the case. That's what the whole movie's about, basically. Is it funny though? It's got mo- it's got moments. I wouldn't say the whole thing's funny. That's for sure not the truth. Does Adam Sandler look like he wants to kill himself? Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> but he's with Jennifer Aniston, so I think that makes it better. Is she fun in the movie? Because I like Jennifer Aniston a lot. She's actually fine. I completely fine with her in the movie. She's okay. okay. Are there any like weird cameos? Like does Kevin James show up for a second? He's like, hey, no, I'm fat. no Kevin James. That one guy, what's it? Rob Schneider, he's not in it. Rob Schneider. <laughs> no, nobody's there's I don't know any of the actors besides them two that were in it. That I knew. You may there's know. Probably, there's probably someone like Vanilla Ice shows up for a fucking second. No, like no, I, ridiculous six. I would have known that. He played Mark Twain in that movie. Yeah. Why was that was, that was bad act? That was bad casting right there. It was. I remember there was a scene where a donkey just shits on somebody. That's like the two. funniest part of the whole movie. There um, are multiple scenes where the donkey just like shits on a wall and like nobody acknowledges it and it's hilarious. Everything uh, else in that movie is is garbage. There's like an attempted twist in Murder Mystery. Don't it's tell me the twist. I'm not going to tell you. 
but like it's an attempt. I don't feel like it was a good twist. It was like on a scale of one to ten, how M Night Shyamalan is the twist. What's a ten on M Night Shyamalan? Like a good, like a fantastic twist, like a Sixth Sense type yeah. thing. Okay, Sixth Sense. Um, like a f- three. Oh Jesus! <sighs> Only because there's like you know, good twists would like have like some sort of hinting towards it at the yeah, have a setup and then no, this has no setup. It's just a twist. It just happens. <laughs> but I don't. If there was setup, I don't remember it. So it's but, it's glass basically. What is the twist in glass? The, the oh, this is a secret society and blah blah blah. That's not like, a twist. That just happens. That was in the supposed movie. to be the twist. That just happens in the movie. That's the twist of the movie, Devin. I, I give it. I, if I had to give this a rating, I'd give it like a solid like five out of ten. Oh, that's not terrible. Maybe a four on a different day, just because I have a soft spot for Adam Sandler movies. I guess I grew up with Adam Sandler movies. They're Adam all... Sandler can make really good movies if he actually like cared. They're all not the best. Happy Gilmore is still one of my favorite. Happy Gilmore movies. is one of the best comedies of all time. I love Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Go to your home. <laughs> Get in your home. It's your home ball. <laughs> like I said, Jennifer Aniston is fine. And Adam Sandler has a dope mustache in it. The whole movie. I've seen the mustache. Is that a real mustache? I don't know. It looked fine to me. It, if it is or isn't, it looks fine. It's not anything Justice League. So. <laughs> oh, jeez. They, <laughs> imagine they CG a mustache onto Adam Sandler. Uh oh, there is a, some an actor in it that I remember. There's a black dude. Uh, what's his name? A black dude. Hold on, I have it up on. Is it Terry Crews? John Canny. You know that guy? Who? John Canny. I'm pretty sure he was in uh, Black Panther. He was. He, he was plays. He plays uh, the dad. Or whatever. Mbaku's dad? No. Black Panther's dad. Oh, that guy. Yeah. He's he's a That's military. The only thing I've ever seen him in was Black Panther. He's the he's the military dude in that in strange. He went he from Black eye- Panther to an Adam Sandler movie. Got an eye patch and he lost his hand in this movie. And apparently they make a reference to Chewbacca in that in this movie. Oh Jesus. There's a big dude and they call him Chewbacca or Chewy or something like that. Of course that. they do. Um I I don't there's not there's not much else I could talk about. Unless you want to talk, unless you want me to talk about spoilers, which I don't want to spoil it. I want to watch it. I want to. I want to experience this. For a Netflix movie, I say it's fine. I haven't seen a lot of Netflix movies, so I can't compare. They're getting better. They're definitely like improving. But it's it's fine. It's Adam Sandler. I don't I don't know what you expect from an Adam Sandler movie, besides it just being kind of funny occasionally. There yeah. is. There's one hilarious scene in it. I'm not going to tell you because Don't tell I me. want you to. I want you to experience it for yourself. But it's hilarious. But that's all I got for that. You want me to talk about Men in Black? I don't. Know. Uh, yeah. If you want to, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> I'm gonna say it right now. I thought it was boring. It was really boring. I've heard that's. I've heard a lot of people say it, it was really kind of boring. Not like I don't know how you mess up a black, Men in Black movie. It's not hard to do. I mean, they did it. Men in Black 2. Yeah, but you think they'd learn their lesson from it. Like, do you want me to tell us spoilers about that, or are you, you going to see that? I'm not going to see it. I don't care. But basically, the whole movie is just... They joke about how Chris Hemsworth is hot. The whole movie. Oh, Jesus Christ. So every movie that Chris Hemsworth is in. Yes, he's shirtless for, I think, like a third of the movie, I want to say. Um, Tessa Thompson is the new recruit. And like at the beginning, you see her as like a kid and she meets this little alien baby and she like sets it free or something. And that's how she learns about the men in black because they denuralized her parents, but they didn't get her. So she like knows about them. What a, what a shit group of men in black agents. (laughs) Well, they, the explanation was the parents were outside talking to the men in black people they asked them, like, hey, is anybody else in the house? And they said, oh, our daughter, but she's sleeping. So they're like, oh, okay. So they demoralized. They, they wouldn't take they, that risk. They would have just went up there and flashed the fuck out of that kid. Yeah. It, anyways, that's how she knows about it. And then it cuts, like, 20 years later. She finds out about the men in black. And they, she, like, finds a crash site to an alien ship or something. And she follows the men in black to their hideout. And then they just let her in the 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 whole thing. 
They're like, oh, you found us. So I guess you get to be in our facility. I mean, that's how that's how that's how big facilities do things, right? Yeah, that's how secret facilities they just let people in if you found us, hey. And um what's her face is back? The O, oh, the leader from the new leader of the Men in Black. Oh, who was in three, right? Yeah, the girl. Emma Thompson. Yeah, she's she's back for that one scene and then that's it. <laughs> oh, she's only in one scene? Yeah. Cause as soon as she recruits her, she's like, We have a problem in London. Tessa Thompson goes to London and we never see O again because the, now they're in London. And Liam Neeson is the head honcho of the London facility. So there's that. Yeah. He's he's like um oh, oh what's oh, I'm terrible with names. What's the old guy's name in the first three? Tommy Lee Jones? Tommy Lee Jones. He's basically the Tommy Lee Jones of the London facility. And uh, Chris Hemsworth is the Will Smith of the London facility. That's basically what their characters are. Is he as funny as Will Smith? No, not at all. I told you the whole movie is jokes about him being attractive. And they're not funny. What about the little alien dude? Is he funny? He's hilarious. He's the best part of the movie. I don't even I don't I've heard, know. I've heard he's pretty funny. I don't know who voices him, but it's perfect and I love it. It's hilarious. He's the best part. Uh, it's Kum- Kumal Nanjani, however you say his he, name. If he wasn't in it, I that I would not. I would probably would have left the theater because it was bad. But okay, so the whole point of this movie is that there's this, there's this new weapon. All right, it's uh-huh. a it's a star within a gun, a, a star inside of a gun. Okay, it's supposed to be able to destroy solar systems, right? And the this one alien race wants to use it to destroy the solar system. Big whoop. What did you think? What did you think was going to happen? But the whole so movie. It's just, it's just we had to protect the galaxy again. That's every Men in Black movie. Yeah. But the whole movie, they have this weapon, right? And they never use it. They just hold it on to it, and like they get captured and stuff, and they have the weapon. I'm like, use it, use it on these. You're holding it. Use it on these people. Like they get captured by Chris Hemsworth's ex girlfriend, who's an alien, who's a crime syndicate lord or something, who what? who is played by the chick in the Mission Impossible new Mission Impossible movies. I don't know. Oh, Rebecca name. Ferguson. Yes, she is the crime syndicate person. Wow. But like, yeah, there's nothing in between that. By the way, Tess Thompson goes to London, and then they nothing really happens, and then they go to this place. How how are Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth like? How, do they have good chemistry? I mean, yeah. I mean, if did you like their chemistry in Ragnarok? It's about yeah, the same. I mean, it was fun. It's about the same. They I, they they bounce off each other very very well. I would say. I don't know if how much of this was improvised or not, but probably a lot of it. But like the his Chris Hemsworth's whole thing is he's the solo guy. He doesn't need a partner, and then he takes a partner, and it's her. Even though she's new and she's never been on a mission ever before in her life, Does that makes sense. Anyways, uh, <laughs> when they got captured by that chick lady, I'm like, use the gun because the gun has settings. You can turn it up or down based on how powerful you want it to be. So it's not like if you shoot it, it's going to destroy everything. You yeah, could just you could just use it. But they get out of that conundrum by her bodyguard is the baby alien that Tessa Thompson meets at the beginning of the movie. Oh, uh, set up. It's a little setup, but that's how they get out of it. Her bodyguard just is like, "Oh, I met you earlier. So you're my friend, so you can go." That's wow, nice. really? That sucks. And then, like, you—they th- kind of throw like, I guess this is a twist. Like when they're leaving this place, Liam Neeson shows up, and all the alien or all the men and black people show up, and they're like, "Oh, hand me the weapon. You finally, you saved it." And they're all clapping, and it's like it's like oh, it's ending. It's it's over. Nothing really happened. The, movie, the movie's over. Yeah, let's go. Nothing really happened. And then they all of a sudden they're like, Liam Liam Neeson's a weird dude. And they're like, maybe he's an alien. And it turns out he was. That was he a big was, twist in the movie. That was the big twist. And Why does it matter if he's an alien? He was taken over by the the hive, is what they called it. And he's a mole within the Men in Black, which has never happened before, apparently. Oh, so he's technically the villain. Yeah, he's the twist villain in the movie. 
But like, was there any setup for that at all, or did they just they no, just happen? It, it, like, he seems like a good guy through the entire thing. Like, you didn't really suspect it, but you're kind of sitting there thinking, like, oh, there's a mole within Men in Black because they say it earlier in the movie. They're like, oh, there might be a mole, and then there's this, there's this one guy who's like acting all suspicious and they're like, Oh, it's probably that dude. But I'm like, you know, it's not that dude because they're trying to throw you off from who it really is. I thought, I thought they were going to make it Chris Hemsworth. Cause they were kind of hinting towards it. And I was yeah. like, Ooh, that would be an amazing twist. Actually. If the main character was actually the villain, that could, that, that could be, that could be fun. That would have been dope, but no, they didn't do that. Basically the reason Chris Hemsworth was acting weird throughout the movies, cause he got deneuralized like four years ago. And he doesn't remember shit that would happen. Because how did he um, get generalized? Because uh, Liam Neeson was his partner. Like I said, he was Tommy Lee Jones to him, and they fought the Hive four years earlier. And the Hive took over Liam Neeson's body, and they deneuralized. He deneuralized ah. Chris Hemsworth so that he wouldn't know about it. He doesn't remember. So he acts. He acts all funny throughout the movie, like about that stuff. He's like, "Oh, we defeated the Hive," and he says the same thing over and over and over again. And they're like. Maybe he's the mole, but no, it's apparently Liam ne- Liam Neeson. And then they shoot him with the gun, and then the movie ends. That's what happens. <laughs> Sounds like you had fun. It, it was amazing. Was and there an after credit scene? I didn't stay long enough for that because I didn't care. There's no. Probably. I thought they were gonna do a romance between Tess Thompson and Chris Hemsworth, and they didn't until the end. At the end, they have to like go separate ways. And they both like look back at each other and they're like smiling. They're like, oh, I'm going to miss you. And then so Tessa if, we, Thompson, if we get a sequel, they won't be together. I don't know. Cause at the end, Tessa Thompson is supposed to go back to New York. Cause she was just training in London, but then she just stays and she's with Chris Hemsworth <laughs> at the end. So I don't, I don't understand. I don't know what happened. I don't think the people who wrote the movie understand what happened either. I don't either. This movie didn't need to make, didn't need to be made. No, it didn't, but it, it's made. There is one amazing joke in it, though. It's, I think you may have seen it in the trailers. It's when he picks up the, a little hammer, Chris Hemsworth does, and he throws it at somebody. I was like, that was an amazing catch. It was, I don't know why, because I know it's a callback to Thor, and I just I find it so funny. Oh, I didn't even put that together. It's a little mini hammer, and he's like... I guess he, that makes sense, yeah. He throws it, and he's like, that was an amazing catch. That's pretty funny. That was funny in the trailer. It was funny, and that's the only thing I thought that was really funny. I laughed out loud at that one. But other than that, there were some jokes that were like, "Huh, that was okay." But it wasn't. It wasn't like the first one or the third one. Third one's not bad. The third one's actually like pretty solid. I don't know if it's as bad as the second one. It's nowhere near as bad as the second one. Are you kidding me? But it's not. Oh, are you saying? Are you saying this one? Yeah, this one. Oh, I thought you meant three. I was like, what? This one. Um, I don't know if it's as bad as the second one. It's it's okay, I guess. I wouldn't pay to see it. I, so if I it don't, comes on Netflix, then I can yeah, watch it. Yeah, go for it. Okay. If you want to watch it. If you want to watch Liam Neeson and Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson. I don't want to watch either of them. Well, that's, those are the three main characters in the movie. So. <laughs> that's all I have about Men in Black. Any, you got any other questions for me about it? Anything I didn't cover? Was there was there like a secret like Will Smith cameo or anything? Was there like any there was, callbacks to the previous movies? There was a picture on the wall of them two fighting the bug thing from the first movie. That was it. That's it. Because like there is a picture of every time they people save the world on the wall. Why is Will Smith such an asshole about like not coming back for these movies? He didn't show up for Independence Day two. He didn't show up for this. Like what the hell? I mean, it doesn't. You can't tell that it's Will Smith. Because it's like a painting, so it's all blurry and stuff. He could have just showed up for one second and just been like, yo, I'm Will Smith. But that was the only callback that I saw on it. Because like they show um, that, and then there's a picture of Chris Hemsworth and Liam Neeson saving the world from the Hive from four years earlier. Those are, That's why they showed it, I guess. But there's no other callbacks to any other movies besides those that one. That sucks. That sounds and really oh, dumb. And oh, because she's in it, I guess. Oh, and the oh, yeah, I guess I forgot the lizard thing, the the tiny s- stick things. I, I don't know what they're called. Oh, the 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 little stick guys. Yeah, they show up in a scene, and that's it. They're getting off a train, <laughs> and they're saying some weird stuff, and that's it. That's all you see. What about Frank? Is Frank in it? He is actually. I forgot. Frank's he's in at, it. He's at the beginning. He says. Yeah. One, he says one line, and that's it. That's cool. I'll see yeah. it just for that. 
he <laughs> he basically when Tessa Thompson walks into the facility, she's like trying to lie her way in. And the newspaper guy who sits at the front door, he's like, yeah, whatever, go ahead in. And Frank looks up. He's like, are you going to call this in or not? And then that's it. That's all he says. I'm going to go see this movie right now just because of Frank. And then yeah. I'll leave once he's off screen. I mean, you'll be there for 15 minutes then. Cause hey, good. That's good enough for me. Uh, any other? Anything else? What, anything else? You that's all I've got. It sounds like you did not enjoy yourself. I didn't want to go see that movie, but we were, spo- we were supposed to go on a run. But it got canceled because of tornadoes. So. <laughs> so let's go see Men in Black. Yep, that's no other movie was out that I wanted to see. Because when uh, does Toy Story come out? Is that next week? Next, it comes out this Friday, I think. Oh shit! You're, yeah, you're gonna have to tell us about that because I'm not seeing that. I mean, you can go see it with me because I'll I'm, be in. I'm I'll not be, seeing that movie. I'll be in town when I go see it. I'm not seeing that movie, Devin. Um, I'm taking right. a stand. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> What if it, what if it's amazing? What I don't care. What if it's the best Toy Story movie? What if it's the ever? worst piece of garbage I've ever seen? Could be, but it has good reviews so far. So I mean, does it mean anything? It could be good. It could be. I don't know. We'll we'll have to wait and see. You'll have to wait and see because I ain't seen it. Um, you ready? You want to talk about Jessica Jones? I guess if you want to. <laughs> was it <laughs> before you start? How bad was it for you, or how? Good? It wasn't. It wasn't bad. Like compare it to the other two seasons. Where do you? Where would you? I'd rank? say it's better than season two, but nowhere near season one. Season one's amazing. It's almost perfect. Season one's great. Did they have any hinting towards uh, Purple Man? Whatever. What's the name? There, there's. I don't want to spoil it, but there is a. There's something with, uh, Kilgrave. Good. In Good. the show, it's done really like dumb and stupid, but there's something. Like, what will the average person catch it? Like, is it? I mean, if you've seen the show, yeah, okay. it's it's very obvious. Like, I don't know if it was like super subtle, and you have to like look out for it. No, it's very like it'll show up, and you'll be like, oh shit! All right, so what do you want to talk about? Hit me. Um, with I mean, like the the one problem that I have with this this season specifically, and I guess a little bit of the second season, is that Jessica Jones is like really annoying. <laughs> she because because everyone else around her all of the side characters like hogarth and and uh trish and malcolm by season three they're all in such interesting places i'd like they were all really entertaining to watch and then jessica's still like oh i'm an angsty like boo and i, I do i drink and I'm, i hate life and blah, blah blah and i'm like we've had three seasons of this like you're really annoying now that should have been the first season. Second season is you kind of like getting over that. And then the third season should be you being a hero. And while she's accepted being a hero a little bit, she's still like an asshole to everyone. Is she still a drunk? Oh, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> so that didn't change at all. No. And she's got a new like boyfriend or whatever, which is like, all right. And he's got the lamest fucking powers I've ever seen. Oh, he actually he has powers. Okay. I guess. He gets headaches. What? He gets like when he when he's around bad people he gets headaches. That's a dumb power. That's literally his power. That that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It really is. Is this a real character? Like is this somebody from a comic? I don't know if this is from the comics. It's no one I didn't recognize the name. That's uh, okay. Okay. And the whole the whole season to me felt kind of the last episode I think should have been a majority of the season because the main villain of the season is just like uh, he's a guy he's just he has no he doesn't have powers or anything he's a smart guy but he's just a guy who's killing all these people and they're and once they kind of figure out how to dispatch him it's like you could have done that five episodes ago why like why why did you wait till just now to figure that out why is he the villain what is he doing he's just a serial killer and they're just like we gotta stop him so like somebody comes and like tells Jessica, Jessica Jones, "Hey, there's this guy. He's murdered." Well, she kind of like figures it out because somebody, I forget how exactly she like figures it out, but something happens. I think like midway through the season that really like it's like, all right, we gotta fucking we gotta stop this guy. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it, obviously, but um, but the whole like Trisha's arc was awesome. It was like, did we did we actually see Hellcat? Did we actually- they they make a reference to like the costume. It's it's like a really cute reference and whatever, but like she's she's in like a she's wearing the Hellcat colors from the comics, like the blue and yellow. But she's in like she's wearing like a jacket and she's got like a ski mask on. 
So they pulled an Iron Fist. They gave her the colors, but not pretty much. There's one like scene where she's wearing the actual suit, and then she's just like, "Oh hell no!" And then she like takes it off, and I was like, "That's a cute reference," but like that suit looked awesome. She should have just wore that, you know. Is it still 13 episodes, or do they cut it down? It's 13 episodes. It, what surprised me, it, it looked like it was going to be 12, because it looked like the season was wrapping up at the 12th season, and I was, or at the 12th episode, and I was like, oh, are they going to do 12? But then the, the 13th episode was awesome, because it wrapped everything up really nicely in a tight little bow, and it, that should have been the entire season, was that was, was what happened in the last episode, because it was really interesting what happened. So it did have an official ending, though. Like It, it ended. Yeah, it well. ends. There's no like, you know, oh, we're setting up Kilgrave's coming back, and then we're just not going to see that. Like, it, it ends. Was it a satisfying ending for the show for the three seasons? Uh, it was all right. I think it should have ended like a couple minutes earlier because the, the final shot of it was kind of lame. But like, that's yeah, for this show that that's kind of like been, you know, good to decent. It's fine. I'd say Jessica Jessica Jones is the. I want to say second best Marvel series. I'd say it is too, because I hate all the other ones. <laughs> is Defenders a part of that? I'd say Defenders is third. <laughs> I, I just lump Defenders in with Daredevil. It's, it is. It's Daredevil 2.5. And there is a Defenders cameo in season three. Cam- what do you mean a cameo? A, a Defenders cameo. Like all of them? No, but like someone from this Netflix oh. verse. And it's really dumb and it's really lame and it's only for like two seconds. But... It happens. I'm intrigued now. It was cool when when they showed up. I was like, "Oh shit, it's it's that guy," but they do nothing. Like they literally just show up and go, "Hey, remember me?" And then they leave. It was really dumb. It's not Daredevil because you would have told me if it was. <laughs> it might be Daredevil. You don't know. You would have been flipping shit like, "Dude, Daredevil's and Jessica Jones." It's not Daredevil. Yeah, I know. I know. But it's it's someone else. But it's it's really cool. Do you um? What's your major flaws with it? What's your biggest issues? The main, the main flaws is is mostly just Jessica Jones. I mean, she she was just really annoying to watch. There's no like, story flaws or anything. There's no, I mean, other than the villain just being like a dude that like Jessica Jones easily could have just picked up and was like, "Yo, admit to killing these people, or I will crush your aorta." Like I, I'm a superhero. Like that's all she had to do. But then there were, he was like, "Oh, I've got like." law degrees and i know the law and i'm like well i'm a vigilante motherfucker like i don't <laughs> abide by the laws i can kill you and i don't i can kill you dude and no one will even know like there were just so many there were so many like conveniences that didn't really need to happen and th- there was some really bad editing like towards the like really getting out of the season there was some really like questionable stuff where i was like was really it, like that's did it looked like it was like rushed or something it looked like i edited it i mean your editing is not terrible <laughs> it's pretty bad uh, and there was some like, there was some acting that wasn't like too great, especially like towards the middle of the season. There's some that was like, a little, um, I just wish it was like, and because there, there's two episodes that are that focus like mostly on Trish. Those were the best episodes of the season because her arc was awesome. She had a really awesome character in this season, and I wanted to see more of that. And Every time she was on screen, I was like, yeah, I'm interested. And then every time Jessica showed up, I was just like, you're, like, you're annoying. Did, uh, did Malcolm come back? See that? Yeah, Malcolm's in it, and he's, he's a real scumbag. Really? I thought he was yeah. enlightened in the second season. He was... I mean, he is. He's not like a, a meth head or anything. Oh. But he's, he's a, a scumbag. And then um, they, killed the, they killed off the cop dude, right? No, he's still alive. No, they killed him in season two. Oh, did they? The Trish's boyfriend or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he he died in season two. Mm. They brought him back in season two, and then they killed him in the same episode. I thought they, I thought he was still alive for some reason, because he was like he was a he was actually a comic book character like Tank or something. Yeah, remember. he was. I don't remember what the name of his character is, but he was actually in the comics. So, um, overall, is it a good 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 rating? I think it's fine. I mean, if you've seen the other two seasons like sure check it out there's there's definitely some fun episodes like the two episodes that are mostly about trish those are really great i think and her arc definitely is i'd say i'd say it's up there with like daredevil's arc in season three of daredevil where like it's it's really interesting like it should have just been the whole focal point of the show um but if you haven't seen jessica jones at this point like you're not really missing out on much you should watch the first season but 
You don't really have to watch the second or third, really. I'll probably watch Jessica Jones season three this week. I just haven't had time to get to it yet. So it makes sense because it's there were there were moments where I was like, all right, like let's end. Like I hate I hate that there are thirteen episodes because that's why it feels it, like it's it just drag. Really doesn't need to be, especially this. This could have easily been like a, a tight, like six seven episode arc, and it would have been it would have been fine. But of course, they got to stretch it out for some I reason. I don't know why they pick thirteen as their number. I don't, just make uh, it however long the story is. Yeah, just write a story and just make it. If it's two episodes, make it two episodes. I don't care. I mean. The Ted Bundy series on Netflix is only like three episodes or something. Yeah. Sherlock, the, the Benedict Cumberbatch show, they, they only do like two or three episodes a season. Well, that's all the news I have. You got anything else you want to talk about before we... Uh, I recently... Uh, there's two pieces. There, OJ Simpson apparently has a Twitter, and Greenland apparently has lost two billion tons of ice. Wow. <laughs> so that's like, that's like actual news. Actual news. Um, we could talk about how Kanye wants to run for 2020 president. Kanye, Kanye for president. I don't Kanye know, for down president. For that. 2020. Where are the aliens at, bro? Where are the aliens at? I don't have anything else for the day. I don't have anything else either. All right. Well, well that's it for the second annual. Well, I guess it's not annual because you told me last week that annual, annual really, means yearly. which I don't think is true, Devin. Google it. Hold on. Let me. I'm not going to Google it. I'm going to Google it right now. Because I don't think that's true, because I've heard people say that. <laughs> it's the second annual episode. Annual definition. Occurring once every year. That doesn't make any sense. What? What is this Webster's Dictionary, or is this like some, was, like the Urban Dictionary? Like, it what was is this? Webster's. Uh, Webster's is lying. It's the, it's the what, what, official what, dictionary. What am I going to call these episodes? Um... The second, um, the weekly podcast. I don't know. The second week's episode. That the real, dumb. the real duo, weekly podcast. This has go. been the real duo podcast. The weekly podcast, because I can't sound all fancy. Because we got a, uh, we got to shout out our sound guy. For our oh, episode. that's right. We got music this this week. Uh, oh, shout out to yeah. Dylan, uh, Devin's brother, for making the music because it's really good and he... it's. He will hopefully have a link in the description if you I'll want put, to hear more. I'll put all stuff. the links. I'll put his phone number in the description so you can call him. He's not doing that. Don't do that. I'll put his. I'll put his Facebook. I'll put his photo booth. I'll put his, his MySpace. I'll put all his links down in the description. Go, go give him some love. He's he's, he's really talented. Pretty, he's pretty good. We'll if be you need music or anything. He won't do it for free. He's going to charge you. He does us for free because you know we're because I threatened him. Yeah, black angry black man over here. Is That's like, incredibly racist. You made a racist joke earlier. I called a black man a black man. So I can't call you a black man because you're a black man and you're angry. You can't call me an angry black man for one. But you were angry. That's and why I'm you threatened not, him. I'm not angry. He said, "He said, pay me fifty dollars. I'll make your music." And you're like, "Bitch, I ain't paying you nothing." I may have said that. Exactly. There's so no you were proof angry. That I said that. Angry black man. Are you a man? Or are you a woman? Angry, angry black it's woman. Ten, you can be whatever you want to be. Angry black it. Angry black it. <laughs> I think you're that's a, a fitting end for this podcast. You're a black it. Even ranting his third rant of the episode. It's, it's my third. You've had, yeah, you had a couple rants this episode. I know I had one at the beginning. What was my second? You had one in the middle. I don't remember what it was. I'll remember when I go back and rewatch this. Oh, okay. You ranted right. about something. It's probably something. Oh, it was something Men in Black related. I think probably. He was like, man, why do you keep making movies? God, I watched two not good movies over the weekend. I need to spice up my game here. You should. You should watch good movies. Are you gonna Are you gonna do a segment of shit movie of the week next week? Probably if I watch a shit movie. Probably. All right. All right. Which I probably I'll, will. I'll try to watch a good movie. We can balance it out. The shit movie of the week and the good movie of the week. All right. I think that's it. I think it's. That's it. We've ended like four times. Yeah. That's that's it. We're so ending. Done. It's I'm done. Finished. It's over. See you next week. Bye-bye.